In today's news, next month is going to be massive for all of crypto and for XRP due to this bombshell connection with BlackRock that I'll be covering a little later on. But to start off with, as we can see from Joe Calasari, October is going to be nuts and I cannot wait for it. He lists the reasons here being the following. Treasury market sell-off likely continues. Key ETF deadline from the 10th to 17th and of course if it's delayed, it will go back to January but it potentially means there's going to be an ETF confirmation next month. Student loans resuming. Beginning of HY Corp refinancing at higher rates of 20 billion, equity market facing VIX seasonality issues, Binance litigation, CFTC plus SEC suits, and potential for crude supplier to get tighter. However, I believe next one's going to be equally big, if not bigger, for XRP. If we can see here from Cyprus, this one will be big. Still don't get how people don't see it. Who will be at this summit here, the Dubai summit, at the end of October 3rd to 31st? will be Ripple, as we can see down here, Casper, Archax, who is entitled to Zero, BlackRock, WEF, and many, many more. This is absolutely huge news. News like this will further spark the rumours going around that BlackRock is looking into investing into Ripple and XRP. As XRP is believed that it will be the backbone of the financial system, which is why $10,000 plus per XRP is looking like a possibility. And this is the future of our financial structure. As we can see here from Bitcoin magazines, kids here are paying for Happy Meals in McDonald's with Bitcoin in El Salvador. This is pure magic. However, I believe the future will in fact be XRP. As we can see from this video here from Cyprus, this guy just called Bitcoin a plain vanilla crypto. And guess who sat in on this panel discussion? Susan Friedman from Ripple. And she sat right here in the middle. If you think that's by accident, then it's time to wake up. Listen very closely to what is being said. I will start with cryptocurrencies more generally and then move to uh, CBDCs and, and the future of the dollar. I would start with the observation that history provides ample documentation of the fact that competing private monies are inefficient. One need only uh, think back to the history of free banking in the United States uh, in, in, in order to illustrate the point. So on the basis of that historical experience, and others, I do not believe that plain vanilla cryptocurrencies or stable coins are a threat to the dollar. Plain vanilla cryptos, Bitcoin and its ilk are too volatile, too expensive to transact with. And stable coins either are not stable if they're partially collateralized or algorithmically collateralized, or they won't scale if they're over collateralized if i have to give you more than a pound sterling to get a token worth a pound that's a bad deal for me and until next time remember it's just a coin